DPX Density Trigger. DPX can immediately show anomalies that occur for as brief as 5.8 microseconds in the frequency domain. In addition, DPX Density Trigger is able to acquire the signal for later analysis in multiple domains. The signal seen here is an infrequent transient. It occurs every 1.28 seconds and only lasts for about 100 microseconds. To get a better view of this hopping signal, we will turn on infinite persistence. Now, to isolate the signal, we will use the DPX density trigger. To activate, right-click on the area of interest, in this case the area occupied by the transient, and select Trigger on this. The density trigger will automatically draw a measurement box at the point of interest and measure the signal density within the box. The density trigger level is then set slightly below the measured value to ensure a trigger will occur. Once the instrument is triggering, we can perform analysis. Here, the spectrogram, spectrum, and frequency versus time displays are activated. After a few acquisitions are complete, the instrument is stopped so that may, we may review the signal at our leisure. The spectrum present at the selected marker location on the spectrogram is automatically displayed on the spectrogram. The spectrogram can be zoomed with the vertical axis scale control, and the spectrum length is automatically recalculated such that the spectrums are overlapped in time. Correlated markers can be used to analyze signals in multiple domains. DPX density trigger is the simplest form of triggering on a signal of interest. If you can see the signal with DPX, you can trigger on a statistical occurrence.